everything you need to survive eight days in the wilderness in Kodiak, all on your back, except for the firewood. But all of us are uh, probably carrying 50, 60 pounds of gear. It's gonna see how our backs feel halfway up the mountain. All right, so this is Dan. Hey, hey. Chief, <laughs> Chief Dan, <laughs> Greg. We just got done putting together all our packs. Now we're making all our little lunches. What every grown boy needs. Trail mix, kind bars, lots of jerky. We leave at uh, 7.30 tomorrow morning. So it just got real. Plane loaded, blue skies, a little windy. See how much fun this ride is. <laughs> Nerves just started. So, but not bad yet. They'll they'll probably get worse when we uh when we get going. As soon as the motor starts, I think that'll probably when it settles in. So we'll, we'll film some stuff from the plane. So welcome to um, Self Service Airlines, where I'm going to show you. Here's our here's our fuel <laughs> for the day. I, I, I'm filling them up. Yeah, that sounds scary. Where, where the passengers are a part of the crew, we want you to feel like family. <laughs> Our link to civilization. Oh boy, all by ourselves. This is amazing. So excited. Okay, so here's base camp home for the next eight days, hopefully, shorter. Hopefully, we'll be dropping goats and deer pretty quick. Dan and Greg are just prepping their packs for climbing them on. And today. And today. Glass. Oh yeah, we're going up the glass. And right here. Little weevil, wild animals attacking us. So here's the teepee. We're living like uh, like kings, honestly. That wire is a bare fence. It's a hot wire. Magnus knows what it is. Dental floss with two D cell batteries. Give the bear a little zap zap on the nose. Titanium wood burning stove, our beds. Here's my view. Here's how I'm going to lay down and wake up, aside from Dan's butt being bent over in the. But that's my <laughs> that's my view for the next eight days. I'm in heaven. I love this. This is us. I'm gonna go look for some goats right now. No shooting tonight since we just got dropped in. So good. Day one in the books, saw at least 10 or 12 goats up on the mountain. Ran into uh, just two other guys, already have a spike camp set up way up top, but we went about halfway up to those you know, in the morning, get up. Hopefully we can turn around and see a bunch of goats hanging out on that mountain. Or hiking.
hiking back up there. So, day two. We'll see what happens. Bye.